Wow, okay, hi. I'm very sick right now. It's 4th of July and I'm home alone. It's about to rain. So I was like, why not, man? Let's freaking do this. So yeah, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a long, long time. And I've like changed ideas a couple times on what I've wanted to do, but this one I've kind of sat on the longest. I'm not great at makeup, like period. I love wearing it. I have way too much of it. It takes up a lot of space in my house. So we're gonna go through a bunch of the stuff that I use like on a regular basis and things that I do and don't like about it. Let's go. I guess let's start with like cleaning stuff, like face care stuff. Anyway, I'm really struggling to find like an actual cleanser that I like a lot. So I was using this brand Simple um, foaming cleanser, foam cleanser, I think is what it's called. And I lost the bottle of it. So I'm not using that anymore. <laughs> but I am using the Simple Water Boost Micellar Cleansing Water. I really like the brand Simple. I use this almost every day of my life and I love it. Was using their other, their like regular micellar water, not the Water Boost, which I loved as well. I just ran out of it and saw that one and I was like, sure, my skin's dry sometimes. My, my aunt is a Mary Kay representative, so I do have a lot of Mary Kay stuff. I'm not really a huge Mary Kay person. That being said, their Botanical Effects line, this is their Freshen from that line. I think it's supposed to be a toner. That's what I've been using it as. I don't really know if it does anything. So I bought the Burt's Bees Brightening Refining Tonic with Daisy Extract. And it says on the package that it helps visibly even skin tone, creates a brighter, more luminous complexion and removes lingering traces of dirt, oil, and makeup. Um, I just used this for the first time today. So I'm not gonna say this does or doesn't work because I literally don't know. I will say that it's a very strange color. It kind of smells like lemongrass, a lot of like flowers and stuff in it. Yeah, it's got peppermint, it's got daisies, mallow leaf extract, whatever that is, willow bark extract. There's a lot of like natural plant stuff in it. The other thing that I use is these two simple moisturizers. One is the replenishing and it, it's just a regular moisturizer. And then this one is their Light Moisturizer SPF 15. I usually wash my face at night, but if I wash my face during the day, I'll put on the SPF moisturizer. If I wash it at night, I'll put on the non-SPF moisturizer. Another Mary Kay thing that I use is their Time Wise Firming Eye Cream. And I just use this, like if my dark circles get really bad and you have to pump like barely any of it out. As far as like skincare stuff, that's about all I use. I'll move on to beauty products now because I have way more of those. So I've been using Bare Minerals Prime Time uh, Brightening Foundation Primer. I like this. It's not my favorite. I bought it like with a Bare Minerals foundation, which I don't like at all. So I went back to the Revlon Color Stay combination slash oily foundation, and I have the shade 220 or natural beige. This also has um, SPF 15. I do think this is too dark for me, but I also think that I need to go outside more. So I do like it a lot. I like how it feels on my face, but I do feel like sometimes it's a little sticky. So I bought the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder and I got the color clear. It's just a finishing powder. <laughs> I also have been using the Milani eyeshadow primer, which is a drugstore brand. I love this stuff. This is the color nude. I don't know if they have a clear one, but it says that it works on any skin color, any skin tone. I'm the same color as the stuff that comes out, so I'm not able to tell you whether or not this works at all if you're like darker than me. I have no idea. So for eyeshadow. This is a brush that I got in an Ipsy bag. Um, so this is the Luxie 249 brush. I like this a lot. Um, for actual eyeshadow brushes, I've been using, um, this is Lottie London, and it doesn't say like a number or anything, but it's just like an eyeshadow brush. And for blending brushes, this is, I'm so not gonna say this right, and I feel terrible. This is the Tapered Blending Brush from Bo Gakis? Gakis? I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then the other one that I've been using a lot 
is the 134 Blend Beauty brush from, I can't read that because it's metallic. Oh, it's SL Miss Glam, I believe is what it is. I've got a, another brush from this brand. Yeah, this is a precise blending brush. For actual eyeshadow, I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm so flipping in love with this that it's not even funny. This is my literal favorite thing. I don't know if the mirror just like shined in the camera, I have no idea. I'm sorry if it did. <laughs> but this is like the love of my life. This kind of color palette is like all that I wear on my eyes and um, my friend Mary was doing a challenge for herself because she doesn't like wearing lipstick. I don't like wearing bright colors, whether it's clothing or makeup or like anything, I don't like bright colors. So I'm trying to like force myself to not wear the colors in this palette. The red is like as bright as I'll go, but that's like a normal color for me. What should I do next? Oh my God. For highlighters, I've been using the Tarte Spellbound Glow Rainbow Highlighter. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I love it. I love how it smells. It smells like candy. It just makes me happy. The other one that I've been using a lot is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil. It's seven day weekend and poolside and it's the pink and the purple one. I love them. I love them so much. I did wear the purple as highlighter the other day and I was really proud of myself um, because I didn't think I would ever use it. Another thing that I really like is the Barfly highlighter. It's a highlighter stick. It's a lot pinker than it looks. It's like almost a champagne color. I don't know how well you can see it. My usual like go-to mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I don't have the waterproof one because I don't need it to be waterproof. It just takes me longer to get it off. I try really hard to not have like clumpy mascara and I think that that does the best job for me. Oh, I forgot something. This is e.l.f. Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Rose Gold. My friend bought this for me and I love it. It's fantastic. For lipstick, my general go-to is this Bare Minerals. It's their matte line and it's in the color Friendship. I freaking love this stuff. It smells like chocolate. Yeah. This is, I, it's great. I use it every single day of my life, almost, and I need to stop. These two are basically the same color. I much prefer this one. It's from the brand Caked, and I can't tell you what the color is anymore because the sticker came off, but I think it was like LOL or GTFO, ROFL, something, something like that, one of those. It's basically the exact same color that you see in the tube. I guess I could swatch all these. That would be okay. I have makeup remover. Here, I'll do the Bare Minerals one too. Do, do, do. That's the Bare Minerals and that one is the Caked. I will pretty much exclusively wear matte lipstick and this doesn't feel like I'm dying when I wear it. I really like the formula a lot. It's the same with the Bare Minerals. I really like how that feels. This is like the same color as the Caked. This is Tarte. It's almost the same. I'm, it's, it's not quite. I believe this is the color Rosé. Oh no, it's FOMO. This side is the Tartist Lip Paint. I don't really like this anymore. I liked it when I got it, but then this came in an Ipsy box and I like that a lot more and it's essentially the same color. My problem with this is that it feels gritty. Why does it feel gritty? I don't understand. Yeah, and this leaks. There's like oil or something on the outside of it. And I don't know if that's just the, the package that I got. I'm not cool with that. Another Milani product that I really like. Wow, this still has like a CVS sticker on it. Wow, that is not coming off. This is their Amore Matte Lip Cream in the color Adorable. I love this. It's like, ah, oh no, wait, how did that happen? I like you so much less. Wow, that literally just like dripped out of the container. I've never ever in my life seen that happen before. Wow, that like tonic stuff, that took this right off. Oh my God. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's the Milani. I cannot believe that that actually just like literally dripped out of the package. Is it just old? Like, did it separate? That's insane. I'm gonna try this again. I feel like that shouldn't happen. Like I knew that this felt really liquidy, but I'm pretty sure that it shouldn't just like drip out. No, yeah, see now it's not doing it. But it definitely like, it 100% dripped onto my leg, like a lot. That's crazy. I'm so concerned. <laughs> Should I throw this away? I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, these are two of my favorite lipsticks. I've also had these forever and I need to throw them away. These are both Ramel and they're both from the Kate line that they have and it is Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick and it's number 45. 
it's not sheer by any means, but it's like shimmery. But it's just a really nice like pinky color. And this is Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick, number 107. And this is a red that I've used for like my entire life and I love it. And that's that one. And that's number 107. I love it. I love how it feels on my face. I love how easy it goes on. I love that it stays on forever. But yeah, and that one doesn't really dry down so much. It's the same with the Bare Minerals one. It doesn't really dry down. It's always kind of wet, but that's fine. Like I've had worse experiences. We're gonna try this refining tonic stuff that says it will remove dirt, oil, and makeup and see if it'll take off this swatching. We're gonna test it like right now. Oh God, my poor hand. That actually did like a lot more than I thought it would to be honest. This red is not ever gonna come off my hand though. That's the, that's the one thing that, I, the one problem I have with like reds is that they never, you're never gonna get them off. Yeah, it's definitely not a makeup remover but it'll remove like a good bit of it. Like that's pretty much gone. I don't know, I'm not unhappy. Did I miss anything? I don't know, I got a lot of stuff. And that was like just mostly like the stuff I use all the time. So yeah, that was, that was about it. Tune in next time, whenever that is, for, uh, for the next thing I do. It's gonna be great, bye.